nothing. Auto stem disciples armored skirt. Interesting. You can try. We got quite a few shells, so I should probably use a bit of them. And I just there we go. Yeah, holy shit. This must be it. The clean room. Answer to me problems is sitting in that room, but I don't know if I should go through with it. If you don't go in there, you could die. I know, I know, but what if the psycho's the only thing keeping me together? What if this opens me eyes and I don't like what I see? There were reasons I dulled the pain, things I didn't want to face, things I was trying to forget. I'd rather be spitting blood than relive in the past. That's just it. I'm getting tired of fighting. Maybe it's time to pack it in, once and for all. I don't want to lose a friend. I'm not the kind of friend you're looking for. I'd probably stab you in the back if I thought it'd get me somewhere. What's so bad about your past? Are you kidding me? Did you forget everything I told you? Fighting and taking me nightly beatings in the combat zone. 
killing me own parents. How much lower can I sink? We'll face that pain together. You, you've already done so much, but you keep offering to do more. Mm. Well, who the hell am I to look a gift horse in the mouth? I'm gonna sit in the chair. Whenever you're ready, you go ahead and throw the switch. Okay. In case someone tries to like in case I have to defend her from like waves of people easy easy Okay. Are you all right, Kate? How are you feeling? Strange. I feel really strange. Everything feels different. Everything feels clearer. Colors, sounds, smells. I, I can't believe it worked. The cravings, the pain, hell, even the rush. They've disappeared? Was I really that far gone? Yes. I'm glad you're all right. I was worried about you. Seems you're not the only one. I have a feeling that Tommy had this in mind all along. Clever old bastard kicked me out of the combat zone so I'd clean myself up and somehow knew you'd be up for the challenge. Hey. Because he saw something in you that I missed. I take care of my friends. I know you do. Look, I'm never going to forget what you did for me today. You stepped up and helped when everyone else cashed out. I know I suck at thank yous, but that's the best you're going to get out of me. Now, how about we get out of here and leave this place far behind? Hey. Woo. Uh, did I? Did I screw up? Fortune Finder, gift to gab, that's from Piper. Okay, I guess I haven't. May as well take a look. Okay, so. Found some sims in here. Hmm? Oh. Leave that junk behind. You're just wasting space. No, I'm not. How dare you? Let's go, we'll do memory lane after this. Oh. Dang, I don't want to make sure. 
sure Kate can actually see it. Come on. Mainly. Because I think I, because I accidentally did do things she disliked. Still looting. Jeez. Thank you. All right. Let's see if we can just get the hell up out of here. Didn't really get a chance to look around fully just because, you know, was fighting gunners. Was a safe in the floor for a second. Hey. I didn't really Okay Security to baton damn who did you piss off? biggest thing is while she's with me I can't use because I did that I can't use any uh, drugs like I think I could still drink a beer or whatever but I don't think I can do any like the heavy stuff like I can't use psycho jet or you know any of my fun stuff I get this one. Yep. Oh, first things first. Did I max sanction? Hey, one hundred percent. Yeah, anything wrong. How do you feel about us? You know where you're headed, and you've got me back. That's the kind of person I like to be with. 
how do you feel about us? Things are going great, and they keep getting better. I hope it lasts. That was all. No problem. Oh, up. Hey. Hmm? Damn. This better be worth it. Oh wait, nope. Getting somewhere, getting somewhere. And we need to head back to Concord. Alright, let's see. God damn it. Oh shit. You hear about that bomb run by bull? Will do. Damn. They ain't very nice. They're called gunners. So if you see any, make sure you stay far away from them, all right? Okay, now, I gotta go. But wherever you are, stay safe. I'll see you again soon, sweetheart. Hey, Slick. Uh, I didn't hear you come in. Turns out our radio connection between the hub and the ASAMs works just fine. I was just recording a message for someone. Oh, yeah? Uh, yeah. Well, after the whole gunner thing, I just... Uh, well, it's kind of... Ah, this is awkward sort of hoping to keep this private <laughs> what I wouldn't give for an interruption right now search complete huh oh right I asked the robot to find my screwdriver <laughs> good timing um, I don't mean to question your logic chip but does that look like a screwdriver to you affirmative you know what you're right turns out this hammer is my screwdriver after all good work now why don't you go patrol or something Protect and serve. Uh, that thought ain't right. Anything I can do to help? Hmm. Tell you what, Slick. If you can find my screwdriver, I'll tell you who I was recording a message for. It's probably past time I told you anyway. Sound fair? Apologies. Sorry. Alright, deal. I was just All right, then. trying to stretch we out my back. Been sitting for a while. Driving me nuts looking for this thing. Okay, you held up your side of the deal. I'll spill the beans on who I was recording that message for. Ready for a little history of Jake? Uh, sure. Tell me the whole story. All right, full backstory it is. So, as I'm sure you already figured out, I'm not exactly local to these parts. 
I've come from a settlement called Sanford. You ever heard of it? It's a nice place, providing you don't mind the odd cyclone or two. <laughs> Never heard of it. That's not surprising. It's a long way from here, way down in the southwestern parts of the wastes. Anyway, that's where I grew up and became a young man. And where I met this young woman. One thing led to another, and... Well, you know how it goes. You met someone and had a son, and I met someone and had a... Go on. Go on. Well, I had a daughter. I named her Laura. And from the moment she was born, that kid became my world. <laughs> what the... Oh, that damn generator again! This is the fifth time it stalled today! If something's wrong, maybe I can help. It's the old plutonium well, the generator that kickstarts the fission reaction. It's been real temperamental lately. Hey, you, if you wouldn't mind, could you go get it started again for me? It probably just needs refueling. Yeah, I got you. The plutonium well. Jeez. That's not disconcerting at all. Nothing else. Shouldn't we have, you know, a guard or two down here? Or like an engineer? Just saying. Rad roaches. Idiot savant. Start the plutonium reactor. We might need to just replace this reactor. Well, not the reactor. I have the adhesive, I just don't have it on me. And the fact there's an idiot savant fucking thing makes me fit. I just I, I heard that I was gonna be like really I was gone for three seconds. Damn. All right. Hey Jake, I got you. <coughs> ah, I got the generator humming again. I see. Thanks. It's no fun trying to work in the dark. Now, uh, where was I? Oh, right. So. Years pass, and Laura grows up. However, me and her mom, Caitlin, we ended up drifting apart and separating. But I'd still see Laura all the time, though. And when she'd stay with her mom, we'd keep in touch the radio. So, one day, I broadcast our usual radio time to say goodnight. But there's no response. 
Now you gotta understand, Laura's the most punctual kid you'd ever meet. She was never late for anything. Naturally, I begin to panic a little, worrying if something bad might have happened to her. So I rush over to Caitlin's house and... Get a minute to gather your thoughts. Sorry. I was just remembering. You see, when, when I got there, I found... Oh, shit. Jesus. Fuck is the hell happened? Hang on. We're gonna go to Sanctuary. Because I'm just like, I don't know what is going on. And then we'll go back to Concord. Okay, that was... Fucking weird. Jake? Oh, he's upstairs. for dealing with that. Now, let's see if I can finish my story. So, I arrived at Caitlin's house, gun in hand and ready for the worst. I opened the door and there was no one there. Please, go on. At first, I thought someone must have broken into the place, abducted Caitlin and my kid. But more I looked around, the more I realized everything was tidy. No signs of struggle. And then I noticed all their belongings were missing. I ran to Laura's room. All her toys, books, even her ham radio was gone. They hadn't been kidnapped. They just packed up and left. That's terrible. I'll tell you. Having your whole world flipped upside down like that. Well, I don't have to tell you how that feels. Well, there's no way in hell I was going to let Caitlin just disappear with my daughter. After asking around, I found out they'd booked passage on a caravan. They'd set off that very morning. I dashed back home, gathered a few essentials, and set off in pursuit. That's awful. No parent should have to lose their child. You'd know that better than most. Anyway, I tracked that damn caravan halfway across the wasteland. By the time I caught up with it, it had made its final stop. Here. In the Commonwealth, Caitlin and Laura had already departed, but I knew where they were now. 
Since then, I've put out a radio message every night, hoping Laura might hear it. Know that her dad is out here looking for her. Holy hell. After our little run in with the gunners, I needed to warn her to stay away from him. I know she probably won't hear it, but... But still, I had to try. You only wanted to keep her safe. Yeah. I just hope wherever she is, she hears my warning. I've not really spoken to anyone about Laura since I got here. Mm. <laughs> Unless you count the Ron. Anyway, thanks for listening. Feels good to finally share. Get everything off my chest. Oh, what is it now? Feral dwarves? Irradiated dev cars? Uh. I've been out for like 50 minutes, but I missed not much, just a uh, Concord kind of going nuts. Something up? Well, cheese and crackers. You must be the ones with the ASM sensors, eh? Uh, me and my partner here, yeah. And they're called ASAMs. Is it true what the old geezer said? Can ASAMs really help build up settlements? ASAMs. Well, sure. As long as what your settlement needs are some homes or farms or a scrap heap. But I should warn you, recently there's been some trouble with... Gee, a scrap heap. Well, that settles it. We'll take 100 asums, please. Whoa. Uh, how many caps that accent. Whoa, whoa, slow down. We're not just peddling some product here. Besides, I'm not even sure we should be handing these things out anymore. What makes you say that? And don't tell me you've already forgotten. That Aiden guy may have been a Brahmin's ass, but he did have a point. It's a fair bet that settlement got attacked because they used ASAMs. Who's to say the same thing wouldn't happen again? Brad's about to pull out a gallon of maple syrup. Oh, fuck yeah, bud. Totally. There's no good answer. Taking action puts us at risk, but inaction could be deadly. I'm just not sure it's right to give out sensors to random settlements no more. Not if it puts them in danger. If you're concerned about giving sensors out to strangers, why not have them join us instead? Oh, yeah, bud. I've got no problem defending those we bring into the fold. Hey, we'd be happy to join with you. Happy to join with you, bud. Yeah, hey. So, whatever it takes to get some assums, eh? Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> That is East Coast is all hell. Look, I don't see what the problem is here. Things are different now. We ain't just dealing with raiders or the odd mutant anymore. Can you honestly say it's the right thing to have these people join us? Yes. You need to decide, Jay. What's it gonna be? I, I don't know. After the whole gunner thing. But what do you think, Slick? What's the right thing to do? Get you up and running. Really? You'd have us? Oh, geez, thanks. I still think we're maybe asking for trouble. But I think you're right. <laughs> you can't be scared to help folks. Okay. okay. Whoever voiced oh, you Hubert. Really don't know what this means? That, that's. Thank you so much. <laughs> no problem. Oh. Welcome to the family. Uh, I'm sorry, what's your name? Hubert. Here, I'll mark where we're staying on your pit boy. I'll run ahead and tell the others. Meet you there, eh? I'll tag along with the youngin. I'm fairly familiar with sensors by now. I'll get his people up to speed before you arrive. Here, Slick, take these. A few extra ASAMs, in case you need them. Ah, thanks, bud. folks up and running. And if the gunners do show up again, well, we'll just have to put them in their place, won't we? I'm going to get back to repairing the hub. Oh, and uh, thanks again for listening today. Good luck now. Fuck, bud. The way he was going about, do you think he'd just ask if you want him to run to Tim's for a fucking pack of 20 pack of Timbits and some double doubles? Hey. 
But fuck bad, those gunners, they sound like bad news, eh? <laughs> There's a channel called OGR Scintilla who sounds exactly like Hubert with autotune. Oh yeah, totally bad. Oh shit. Hey, don't be attacking the Brahmin bud. What you doing, eh? Oh yeah, remind me, I need to, uh, upgrade her, uh, upgrade her Grognak, bud. It's darn tootin' right now, but it can do even more. What does OGR Scintilla generally, uh, broadcast at the- oh shit. Fucking hell. Are they like a VTuber, a PNG tuber, just a regular person? Do they walk the the walls of flesh? Oh shit. Oh shit, give me all that. Nothing personal. Just a bunch of raps making fun of Canadian stereotypes. Okay, what the fuck is going on over there? Holy fuck, bud. Them fucking hosers. Oh, All right, let's see if them hosers had anything good on them, eh? God damn it, ever since. <laughs> ever since I heard Hubert, it like. Uh, that was good. That is like the only like accent I'm actually okay at. I don't know why though. All right, but let, let's see what Hubert's got for us, man. Fuck, if we can set up a Tim Hortons, we're, we're talking. Ah, must be over there. just happened Oh 
Okay, hang on. I am going to... I'm just going to reload because I don't know what the fuck just happened. Okay. We'll go from ArcJet. Let's try that again. His shit popped off for no reason. Have you checked out the follow TV show yet? Yeah, I'm on episode uh, three. I'm very bad at just sitting down and watching something. Because I keep, I have content creator brain. It's very hard for me to just. Okay. Taken just one day off. Hey, lay off. I think you was onto something. What's the harm in just hearing them out? I know this seems out there, and I was doubtful myself. But I'm telling you, these things are real, and they work. Oh, see? Here they are now. I told ya. All our building problems are solved. You really are an idiot, Hubert. After I've dealt with this, remind me to explain the meaning of low profile to you. Okay. Hey, 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 hey. Throw your weapon on the ground. Let's see those hands in the air. Ho, oh, let's calm down. Let's talk this out. There's nothing to talk about. Hubert may have asked to join you, but he doesn't speak for all of us. And I don't for a second believe what he or this old man say about these awesome sensors. A Sam's. A Sam. Whatever. Look. I don't want to hurt Bullshit. you. Bullshit. But I don't trust your reasons for being here. So please, just hand over your weapon. But I want to help you guys. Uh, all right, fine. You can hold on to your weapon. <laughs> uh, I better not regret this. <laughs> See, Stodge? No shooting. I told you it was all good. No one's here to hurt us. So why not listen about the Assams now? Hey, Sams! If we join this nice fella, he'd help us build this place into a real home. Youngest, right. Seen these sensors in action myself. Just the thing for a fledgling settlement. Okay, fine. If it shuts the two of you up, I'll listen. But I'm still not convinced these things are the answer to a new home. What would it take to convince you? Okay, even if I did believe these ASAMs do everything I've been told, how do I know we could trust you? We just had our old home taken from us by goddamn mercenaries. Had to flee just so we wouldn't become indentured workers. Hmm. So I can't say I'm thrilled with the idea of us running, only to be leashed by some new landlord making promises they can't keep. Even if these senses of yours work, I'd need to know we're not signing over our independence and freedom. I need to know you're on the level. All people want to be free. They just need the opportunity to take it. And just what the hell is that supposed to mean? Exactly what he said. The sensors just provide you the means. But the responsibility's on you. Mm. You put in the work, and what you build is yours. 
Now that sure sounds like independence and freedom to me. Well, uh, when you put it like that. Okay, I'll go along with this whole censor thing. We'll join with you. You better not try and screw us over. Oh, great. With Stodge on board, everyone else will fall right in line. <laughs> but I've one condition, and it's non-negotiable. We'll join with you and use your sensors. But you've got to let us decide how we use them. If we're going to make a new home, then we should have the say in how it's built. Fair enough. All right. Well, then, uh, I think we can make this work. Okay, everyone, listen up. This is how we're going to do things. We need to decide on a leader. Someone who can take charge of the building effort and then run the place once construction's done. Most of us have skills that'd be useful in a leadership position. Mm. So anyone who thinks they're up to the task, step forward and make yourself known. I'll go first. What the? I can't say I expected Cupid to step forward. But what are you doing, old man? You're not one of us. I've already benefited from the sensors. If I can, I'd like to return some of the kindness shown to me and help you people out. I know I may not look like much, but I've been around a lot. Reckon I could offer some useful guidance, at least until you're on your feet. Hmm. Fair enough. But all three of us can't leave. We'll have to pick just one of us. Hey, I've got an idea. Why don't you decide who gets put in charge? I think you'd probably choose a good leader. What would it mean to be in charge? Well, I suppose the person would run the settlement. They'd be like the mayor or something. Although, everyone's got their own ideas on how to do stuff, so you should keep that in mind when you choose someone. I'll do it. Well, that's all kinds of fantastic. I can't wait to see who you pick. Hmm. All right, let's uh Hi. Huh? You made up your mind? It would be nice to know more about you. Why? Am I story time stodge now? What would you even want to know? Uh, how about that I'm a ghoul? Probably didn't notice that, did you? Now, I'm not one of those decrepit pre-war ones, though. Uh, although, uh, I am pretty old. <laughs> old enough to have been a gunner. Back when that title was still worth something. Mm. Uh, but that was long ago. These days... I'm more concerned with keeping me and mine safe from anything the Commonwealth can throw at us. Which is a lot. Okay, say your piece. What? I gotta sell myself? Yep. Uh, fine. If you put me in charge, you can expect things to be efficient and done right. I run a tight ship, and I don't take no crap. I'd put my focus on defense and making sure everyone pays their dues. And if people don't like it, they can suck it. Mm. I'll have to think about it a bit more before I decide. Fine. Okay. <clears throat> How's it going, eh? Got someone in mind for the job? Uh. Okay. Say your piece. Oh, like... What would I do if I was in charge? Whew, that's a head scratcher for sure. Well, suppose I could ask my old church friends to help out. You know, if we're ever in church or something. And I guess just try and make the people happy. A smile can go a long way, you know? <laughs> just don't ask me to keep no town records or nothing. I ain't much for bookkeeping and stuff. Too many numbers, you know? Tell me about yourself. Oh boy, where to start? Well, I was born, 
then I was a baby for a while. <laughs> then a whole bunch of stuff happened. Yep. And naturally, I ended up joining the Children of Adam. Oh, nice I guys, see. But a bit too serious. So I left them and went to walk about. And then I met Stodge. Saved me from a real big mole rat. Then eventually me, Stodge, and some others formed a settlement. Then we lost it. Then we came here. Okay, so he used to be everything. part of the Children of Adam. I still haven't decided. Oh, okay then. Uh. <laughs> Made your pick, have you? Okay, say your piece. You mean, what would I do if I was in charge? Yeah. Guns! Guns for everyone! Nothing says <laughs> settlement safety like everyone carrying a loaded firearm. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I could share some of my expertise from my days as a scaver. Show everyone the right way to strip down salvage and how to properly maintain things. Youngsters don't know how to care for stuff these days. <laughs> Take old Paul. I'll think about it and get back to you. All right. Honestly, your time. I'm thinking like Cube Hubert, he's nice. But fuck, he's dumb. Legitimately, Stodge is probably the best choice. Because everyone he It comes down to also, people here are familiar with him. And, you know, he's his thing is defense. So, you know what? Yeah, like, Old Paul's funny. But, like... He's gruff and old, but he wants the best. Yeah. Excuse me. Huh? You made up your mind? I've made my choice. Oh? Who'd you pick? How about you? Aha! This old ghost still got some life. Uh, wait, what? I didn't mean to do that. Legitimately, if I can change it, I will. It didn't give me, I didn't, you saw it, it popped up. And hang on, let me just... Okay, I need to send one person from Sanctuary. Hey, you're the one in charge here, right? I've been looking for you. Do you have a moment to talk? Nice to meet you. Name's Jason Martin. Uh, to make a long story short, I'm ready to What's land. the quest called? I can Please look it up. Me. You can change it. Oh, I know I can change it. Specialized in protection. I've been a guard most of my life. You have a place you want safe and sound? Put me there and I'll make it happen. Sure, let's do it. Excellent. You won't regret this. Just show me where to go and I'll get to it. Uh. Oh, uh, hang on. RB supply line to Why can't I fucking supply line to Red Rocket?
I literally I can't Red Rocket. There we go. Okay, okay. Oh, it's concrete. There we go. Alright, we need some beds. 